Well, again, as always, appreciate the support you guys give our players and our school. Um, what a, a, a great way to to uh, come off three consecutive defeats, uh, come out and play like we did. I'm really proud of our team. I thought we competed extremely hard. We started fast, um, forced a turnover on the first drive, then took the ball down and scored. Um, and then we got in our way a little bit, which has been a cause of um, a couple of our defeats this year. We turned the ball over, had penalties in critical situations. Uh, but all in all, other than a two-minute drive and then a one-play drive in the fourth quarter, I thought our defense played outstanding. We tackled. Um, we limited the big play. Um, and then offensively, I thought we were very efficient other than um, some early turnovers and penalties. And um, those are things we have to continue to clean up. Um, we got to play a lot of people. Um, defensively, we were much better on third down than we have been, which um, allowed those guys to, to get off the field and give the offense more opportunities. Southern Conference football is very difficult each and every week. Um, and it was, it was, it was a, just a, a good, good old-fashioned Southern Conference game Saturday. And fortunately for us, we were able to pull away in the second half for a big win, something that we really needed at this juncture of the season. I do. I, I think um, that we had great focus at practice. You know, last week I mentioned we've been very inconsistent at practice. This week, uh, our practice, or, or the week leading up to ETSU practice, was um, really consistent for the most part. Um, the Monday after the Chattanooga game, I told the players that we were starting our season over. We had the right to do that, and, and um, our goal was to go 1-0, and, and and we were able to do that. I did feel like we were in control of the game, even though it was tied at halftime. Um, and, and, and that was kind of my speech at half to the players. that I mean, we're in control, but we got to go out and finish. And um, for the first time and since game one, we were able to do that. First of all, we're always worried about ourselves each and every week, no matter if we're playing a team that is undefeated or, or has no wins. Um, second of all, Walford is a, a really good football team. They're a really good program. They're a proud program, one of the, the tops in the Southern Conference year in and year out. They have fallen on a little bit of a hard time last season. Um, this year, all their games have been extremely close. Defensively, I think they're one of the best defenses in the league, and, and they've been struggling a little bit offensively, and I hope they continue to do that. Um, but, you know, again, I said it earlier, Every week in Southern Conference play, you have to be ready to play because we're all so similar in athletic ability. Um, we go on the road. Wofford's a tough place to play over in Spartanburg. It's their family weekend, so they'll have a, a really good atmosphere. Um, but again, I don't see us overlooking anybody because we're not good enough to overlook anybody. And then second of all, what we preach each week is about us playing to the level um, that we're capable of playing to, which I do not think we've accomplished yet this season. Well, I, I think all of them have gotten a little bit better. Um, again, it goes back to the word consistency. One week I'll think this group, man, they finally got to where they need to be, and then they kind of fall back a little bit. And I think that's kind of been the story of our, our season um, thus far. I really think our linebackers have been playing at a high level. We've had a couple – Injuries there, some guys have been forced to play multiple spots, and that's a difficult position because of all the reads that you have to have um, to be successful. And then I thought that our offensive line um, really uh, stepped it up last week due to the type of defense we played. We had a few holding calls and um, a couple offsides and, and gave up a few pressures, but um, what ETSU was doing to us was very difficult, and to be able to go out there and complete 42 of 50 passes is pretty good against the type of front that we saw last week. I would definitely agree with you. You know, the, the, the conference is rich in history. I think if you walk over um, at Alabama, they have a brick that says they were the Southern Conference champions at one time. So there's been a lot of good teams uh, that have been in this league that have, have moved on for different reasons. Um, I think what makes us unique is um, we have a blend of private schools, a blend of public schools, a blend of military academies. And each of them offers a very different and unique experience. Um, you know, I don't want to put one above the other because I think they're all pretty cool. You go to Mercer, I get to see all my buddies because that's my hometown. The Citadel, um, you know, their core cadets in the stands um, are phenomenal. You know, VMI, um, what great tradition they have with all their the, of the cadets that are there. Um, you know, you go to Western Carolina. 
Um, you're in the mountains, same with East Tennessee State. Um, all pretty, everybody's got a very unique experience. And, um, you know, Walford um, is a, a team that um, I was really good friends with their, their former two head coaches ago, Mike Ayers. Um, he, he was a, the legendary coach there at Walford. Um, he, he ran a different style of offense. He was more option where I more throw the ball. And we've had many battles against one another. So um, by the teams that he produced, the championships he produced, um, just I just admired the way those guys played ball when I first got in this league back in 2007 at Georgia Southern. And, um, and, 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 and you know, they're doing a great job now. Um, at some point it's going gonna, it's gonna to click. We just hope it doesn't this week.